Hi Aquarius, thank you ever so much for watching. Right, let's get cracking three card tarot for the sign of Aquarius and asking for three cards here for the last week of May 2019. And we'll do some more cards to uh, to back them up and to get some, some more convincing answers. They're falling out all over the place. There's one already. We will have that as a significator. And that's the Page of Swords actually, but there we go. Let's not put the cart before the horse. Where are the other three? And here we go for the sign of Aquarius for the last week of May 2019. I fall off the table if you're not careful, these things. Lovely deck, this Tarot in Wonderland, actually. Beautiful illustrations. Uh, really, you know, in-depth, really good quality paintings and artwork there, uh, which have gone into them by uh, Eugene Smith, actually. Uh, but they are kind of slippery. Anyway, page of wands here, okay? Now, this is help coming in, Aquarius. Uh, this is someone coming in around you, possibly a male figure, not necessarily. It really doesn't have to be. Uh, but there's some kind of forward-moving, masculine kind of energy there for getting things done. Almost Mars energy uh, in a lot of ways there. Uh, and uh, so, actually, the, the, it almost looks like the Ace of Swords, doesn't it? But uh, it's, it's the Page of Swords. Uh, but, you know, s similarly, single-mindedness is going to be called for here. The only thing is the Page of Swords tends to be, you know, a bit kind of... Um, a bit over-keen, a bit overzealous, and can kind of lead things in the wrong direction in some ways. Anyway, to the reading. Um, the first card out here is the Eight of Wands. Now, this uh, really means that things are be going to be getting moving, Aquarius. Probably are getting moving already. I actually feel that energy around Aquarius at the moment. So if things are still stuck, they won't be for long. Uh, that's what happens when this card comes. Look how fast they're flying. That looks to me like a kind of uh, a military jet plane display team there in formation. Uh, so it's incredibly fast moving. Uh, there's a definite kind of gamble to this card. Not not you gambling, but you know, things could go either way. Uh, because, a bit of suspense I suppose you could say, because they are actually playing cards these. But you know, they are actually all just showing showing the back so they don't, they don't have individual meaning. Suggesting that things are less complicated than they might seem. And uh, this energy is really ready to get flying. It's also an eight, it's an eternity thing. So this is something that's coming in and it's going to last. Now, it doesn't mean that what happens in the immediate future is most definitely going to last. But it's like the first day in the rest of your life, you know. And uh, by making the effort to accept this change as it comes through Aquarius, you really put yourself in a good position with the general karma of life. You know, um, the more we resist these things, the more le the lessons come again. You know what I'm talking about? It happens, doesn't it? That's just the way it is. But uh, Aquarius, you know, it's, it's really not a time to sit on the fence in any way, if you possibly can. Uh, quite possibly an emotional time. Uh, we're looking at a lot of pink uh, in the clouds there, which is making me think rose quartz, love. But, you know, maybe also comfort around situations. Um... Because nothing really worth having comes along without having some kind of price attached to it. Uh, that That's always a true thing, whether you kind of believe in any of this stuff or not, really. Okay, so eight of wands there uh, for our first card to get things moving. Now, the middle card here we have, uh, number 11, and it's justice. Okay, so this uh, this card comes in just before we move towards the death card at number 13. It suggests that some things are coming to a conclusion, but it's not really an ending. This is, uh, this is perhaps an ending of ambiguities of things which haven't been at all helpful. The sun is suddenly blazing in the window, which is rather good news for the light. We can actually see one of the cards for a change. Isn't that great? Okay, but this is uh, judgment, uh, and it's justice, but it's a lot like the card which is called judgment. Uh, and that, that's kind of a misnomer for the judgment card, really. But judgment is what this is all about here. Uh, it may be your own judgment. This is fluid energy, as I'm forever saying, and it will apply itself to different folks in different ways. That's just the way, yeah, that's the way... The cards go because that's the way life goes, you know. Somehow we've got to make the best of this crazy world. And uh, this is a good time for sort of pull your socks up honesty. That would be a good way to put it. Uh, and being honest with yourself, being straight with yourself. Uh, okay. And just making sure you've got kind of everything sorted out. If you're kind of prepared for things to change, for this change to come in. Because it's whooshing through. Look at that. 
The eight of wands there, and it is absolutely whooshing through. So the last of the three cards, and we'll do some more cards in a second to ask for some more clarity, is the lovers here. Number six. Okay, there is a good number, number six, if you ask me, a very magical number. And um, we can see not everything is absolutely perfect in this card, but we can also see that there's kind of a relationship thing indicated. Uh, it's not always the happiest thing. It can tug the heartstrings and all kinds of things when a new relationship comes around. Uh, but this card also has to do with uh, the difference between sacred love, you know, love that really means something in the heart, and uh, what they call profane love. I, I don't really, you know, um, in this day and age, I don't think we should perhaps be questioning what different people's view of love is. I, I really don't know. Uh, but this is the fluid energy thing again, guys. It could really um, mean different things to different people. But it does show a relationship is around, and it looks like a relationship of the heart to me more than anything else. But whoever you are, um, Aquarius, what is your relationship with your own heart? Mm, that's the thing to really be thinking about. I think about it a lot and there are no clear answers to it, I'm afraid. There really aren't. Uh, but if, if we're looking at a relationship, look at possibly a younger figure coming in with a bit more enthusiasm uh, about him. Someone to really get things moving for you. Okay. I'm afraid I'm making this a rather quick video because I uh, just have to try and get things uploaded as quick as I can this week. Um, really tricky with broadband. It's not your problem. I'm just kind of uh, explaining myself a wee bit because I know people have been waiting around for these to come out. So, okay, more clarity for Aquarius, please, on the Eight of Wands. And what have we here? Okay, and it's the Ten of Wands. So we're a bit further into the wand journey here. I now can't see a thing because I'm blinded by the sun in this eye and this eye's kind of somewhere else, <laughs> as eyes will be. But look, this is a very burdensome situation, okay? And this is what the Eight of Wands is coming in to sweep away. Uh, but we are going to have to make decisions here, okay? Because what um, is not immediately obvious in this card but it's definitely a big part of the meaning of, of ten of wands is this guinea pig is not happy he's capable he's got all these wands strapped onto his bag he's got all these nice goodies here uh, in the cart as well uh, but it's too much work you know it's just much more work than he ever thought it would be so uh, guys have, have you got kind of problems that are holding you back uh, because of commitments you've made maybe way in the past and it was fine uh, but as time's gone on it's just become an incredibly uh, difficult commitment that has taken over so much of your life that you're not actually able to express yourself and be yourself well being yourself is super important so guys allow this eight of wands change in okay it's going to be fast it's going to be furious but this character is really helpful if you can just get him to slow down a bit. Okay, so we've got a guinea pig there, ten of wands with the eight of wands. So another card, please, for more clarity, uh, for the number 11 justice card uh, that we got in this spread for the sign of Aquarius in the last week of May 2019, please. And here we have it, and it is the Two of Pentacles. It's a balancing act, guys. This is where the justice business uh, really kind of uh, comes into play. It's almost Libran characteristics. Now, in the Rider Waite deck, the character has got a firm control over the Two Pentacles, or at least it looks as if he has. Um, and then questions arise, but they're surrounded by the figure of eight. And, uh, you know, it's eternal. It, it's a real sort of eight thing. But this is very different. This is the two of pentacles and the hatter is having great difficulty juggling the pentacles here. OK, and so this is the balance that comes in with the justice card. And again, it's about using your judgment. And it actually makes me think of the ten of wands again, which came up. Uh, just a second ago, because this is, you know, have you taken on too much? Can you really balance it? You probably can if you really, really have to uh, with this card. It's not a negative card at all, uh, but it does mean, you know, think about how much is going on in your life and make that part of the judgment you're exercising on this uh, very fast-moving energy that's uh, coming in for Aquarius, almost as I speak. Almost as I speak. Okay, so I'm asking for another card, please, for some more clarity about the lover's card. Number six that came in in this reading, this three-card tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius in late May 2019. Okay, for the lovers, and this one is the five of pentacles. Okay, and the frog is being drawn away here. Okay, um, are you kind of feeling isolated? Are you feeling stuck on the outside? Is someone on the inside enjoying what should rightfully be yours? 
Who knows, guys? Who knows? But this suggests, um, because I, I was saying, this doesn't look entirely like straightforward love to me uh, when this, this lover's card comes up in this particular way, in this spread anyways. You know, they're, they're all different. And the energy is fluid. It could mean different things to different people. But this just shows that two things really. One, it's more complicated. And two, there is help at hand. Um, but Alice isn't really aware of how valuable uh, the help is that she's getting here. Um, she isn't. So, you know, think about the, the count your blessings, I suppose, would be a good way. I'm, I'm not making great sense of this, but, you know, the, the door here says actually Queen Alice. So it's really rightfully Alice's place where she should be on the inside there. Uh, just don't be afraid to accept some guidance, particularly in spiritual terms. Meditate. And uh, if this is a relationship with a lover, which it may well be, and uh, good luck to you if it happens, I'm hoping to get that, but it didn't come up for Sagittarius in quite such a jolly, cheerful way, but it's come up here. Um, this just isn't as bad as it seems, okay? Help is at hand. That's the, the meaning I'm putting on that one this time. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to wind it up there because I want to kind of keep things short so I can get them uploaded while it's still this weekend and then hopefully I can get on to starting the June ones next week and it's my ambition that by next Friday night um, <clears throat> all 12 star signs will come out at the same time and be half an hour each I'm pushing the boat out there aren't I but still there we go thanks for watching thumbs up please if you've enjoyed it um, subscribe if you haven't already please and tap that bell to make sure you don't miss anything um, I'll be back very soon with more readings because it's what I love to do so thanks ever so much guys leave me a comment as well if you'd like have a great time Aquarius it's going to be fun it really looks it just let it happen and uh, use a bit of discernment there but just don't block the energy okay that's my advice anyway have a good one peace